Are you tired of playing Overwatch and not knowing how you can improve? Do you want to set yourself up with a plan that will help you improve for the long term? Well, look no further than my coaching plans available for sale in my Discord server. What you're buying is not just private sessions. I bought this. That boy hear me. Oh, what the fuck? What you are buying is a plan that continues the coaching even after the session. With this plan, you get reviews of your gameplay analysis on my stream, channels to quickly ask me questions and talk with my other students, discounts on future sessions, and much, much more. Link to join my Discord is in the description below. Hope you enjoy the video. What'd you just do here? Yeah, okay, now you're good. Um, what, what, what was the plan of that shift? Uh, I just saw a bunch of low health, so I press okay. shift. Okay, fair. Um, so the thing with your shift is that you, there's like two ways to use it, right? And mm -hmm. the primary one is greedily. You have to, it's like your only form of like keeping yourself alive. So if you take damage, like during a fight, you, you want to use it like when you get pressured, right? You, you want to use mm -hmm. it so then you can stay alive. Um, you never want to use it just to heal up one person, right? If you're going to use it, like to heal up your team, you want to make sure that it's at least like multiple people at once, right? That maybe you yeah. can't keep up with so this is a fine usage right because you see everybody's like going in you think they're going to take damage so you shift um yeah a good way to break the habit of um shifting just like randomly just for like one teammate um just consider how much healing it actually does it does 70 do, do you know how much a direct hit with your uh well no that's 75 do you know how much a, a direct hit with your left click does no actually 70 it's 75 okay. for the shift and 70 with the right click, right? So if you're ever in that situation where you see that it's like, I, I'm shifting this guy and it's like, it's not really, like it's just one person, remind yourself about those numbers. And it's like, oh, okay, I could literally just shoot him once and that would be like, that'd be enough. Okay. And also it's not even- the way, sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say the way I feel like I use shift is either one to heal myself or two kind of like Lucio's amp. Yeah, him, yeah, no, like, that, that, that's a good, people. yeah, yeah, yep. And then, is it, I'm not sure, I can't tell if I get value from it when I do this, because I can with the other two, Here, but we, we I use it when I reload. <laughs> when you reload? Uh... Yeah. Like, if my team's still being pressured and I have to reload, sometimes I'll just shift so they get heals while I'm doing it. Yeah, so th that's that's similar to how it's like you're anticipating your team taking a lot of damage, like multiple targets. So I'm okay yeah. with that, right? If you're anticipating okay. that multiple people are going to take a lot of damage and like your reload is going to like affect that, like your reload is going to be like a catalyst for you dying, then sure, you might as well shift. There's no reason not to. Um, okay. But like in a situation like this, right? When you're going in with full shield, do you really think you need that shift right now? Sorry about that. Like when when your team is going in through the choke with full shield, do you think you need shift right now? No. No. Right. Why? Because everybody's full health. Yeah. Right. And and not to mention, it's like you can think about it. It's like, are are you really anticipating anybody taking a lot of damage here with like your shield and like you're you're pretty much just no. like blocking and with bubbles. Yeah. Right. And speed boost. At, at what point do you think would be better for you to be using your shift, like? As you're walking, um, tell me when to stop. That's when you would probably like start thinking about using your shift. Probably around there, because right, so I'm assuming that's when everyone's gonna start swinging. Right, and and even then, you can think about it as like your Ryan is going in, your teammates are going in. Do you see how angles like this and like back here and like here start making a difference here, where like they, they can start shooting past the shield? Yeah. Right, like if your Ryan was like situated like right here, right. So that that's where it's like if you're anticipating damage, that's where a shift would be okay. Twelve seconds later, th th there is one thing I noticed though, right? Mm -hmm. It was about your shift. What's happening right now? <laughs> I'm taking damage and I don't have it because I used it earlier. Yeah, you got slammed on, and now you don't have you don't have your shift, right? That's when you want shift, right? So be be very greedy with it. Whoops. Okay. Not a tank. Okay. 
Okay, so I just wanted to make this clear. Um, I'm not saying that you always need to be using your shift like in this area of the field, like as your team is pushing in. I'm saying uh, this is according to like where you think you're going to take damage. Um, at the time when they used shift, they were back here. The Ryan was like right around here, pushing in maybe like towards here. And the idea was that their shield pretty much covered all the angles, so they had the opportunity to be able to shoot and clear out the angles easily. Uh, something we went, um, we, we talked about earlier in the session that I'm not including in this video. But um, the idea is that if, let's say, the enemy was like, I don't know, somewhere like here, uh, or maybe at a higher angle, like the, maybe they were up here, and they were able to like shoot down over the shield and basically the idea is that if they were able to threaten this area earlier and your team wanted to push through here then yes a shift in this location from you would make more sense because this is where you're anticipating to take damage right so it's all about just wherever it is that you anticipate to take damage and using your shift um as a means to push but when you use that shift it means you can't really get as aggressive as you like and you need to be extra careful about people who are going to be diving on you yeah so your damage so you get cover good Ooh, what happened there i uh, used shift for no reason why well no, no I, you said no reason i said why <laughs> that doesn't make sense um <laughs> so i meant uh why, why is it bad why is it bad there we go because now I don't have it. If I get dove, or if we all take a bunch of damage, or if I lose one health and I'm scared in a corner or something. Yeah. What about this shift? Was that a good shift? Uh, it was alright. It got our Ryan a bit more health. It got our Doom a bit more health. Mm -hmm. it got me more health. That, that's This is the main thing I'm looking at, honestly. Like, before even your teammates, because you were taking damage, this is a good shift. If okay. anything, you, you just need to be, like... I don't really think you should be like right here. Well, I don't think you should be here. You should probably be like right around here, so you don't take that damage to begin with. But okay. you were damaged, so you took you, you used a shift. Totally fine. That's completely good like justification. Just ideally, you just don't take that damage to begin with. But whatever. Yeah. Key thing to take note of here: um, you don't want to be using your shift just for any sort of like random spam damage. Like for example, if you're in your backline and there's like no real threat of you actually being pushed. In this case, I say that the shift is is good because of the fact that there is a tracer who is coming in from the side and pressuring them down, right? So jumping out and shifting because they had that pressure and not to mention they were already low health, that makes this a good shift. Ideally, again, they should be further back or at least like near cover so that they aren't taking as much damage like by fire strikes and um, from tracers. But in this situation, this makes for a good shift. That's why your shoes are ready. That's why your mama did. Just like little micro thing. They're not really a big deal. Okay. You want to be using your shift. There we go. I'd like for you to use it a little bit sooner, just so then you get it back sooner. But okay. I I think I wanted to get Ryan in into the shift. And, and, and you but... see that that's where I'm saying that it's like. It's just not worth it, right? Because do you see how okay. like all this does? It, it gets you sucked into the fight yes. in a Ryan v Ryan. Yes. That's just not something you want to get. Your, like obviously you didn't like get punished for it, but it's like I don't no. want that to be something you do regularly. Yes, right? I, yeah, I don't I want I you to like actively pursue people to get them within your shift because it's like virtually okay. like nothing, right? Yeah, I, I I should just like shift for myself and that's it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. But it's like, again, like, do you, do you see how, like, weird this looks? Where it's like, you're here, and it's like, this is literally the only person you can really support right now, because, like, this is all you can see. Right? Whereas, if yeah. you were literally just, like, right here, you could do exactly the same, but you could yeah, be supporting more. others. Right? Yeah. All right, so this is, like, you getting sucked into the fight a bit too much here. Yeah. And that's just because of how you want to use your shift. 